Hello, my fellow memers and dreamers. It is I, GoldPiplup64, and welcome back to another episode of Dangon Rumpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time, we not only had the most wholesome episode, but also the most indecent episode. Like, ew. Like, it was so. Ugh, it was starting to get really indecent towards the end. But I, it still definitely helped me for the last bits. And also, I just like to say this. I'm recording this episode right after the last one. I don't know what is up with me today. I, I just feel a lot more energized than I have for like the past days now. So I just feel like recording another episode back to back. I'm, I'm honestly pretty happy to do so. I don't know. Like I did like when I recorded that last episode, Um, I literally just woke up like 20 to 40 minutes before I recorded the episode, but for some reason I just feel a lot more energized today Maybe it was just because I didn't get woken up by somebody else. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get it Let's get into the episode There's still some time left in the day what to do well We're gonna go talk to Taco because we're about to finish uh, up uh, the, whatchamacallit, oh, free time events. I was, ugh, man, I'm actually really excited about this. Oh, he's in the kitchen. Yo, he's gonna, you know what? I like Taka. If he's a man who can cook, you know what? He's I eat. He's, he's a good dude. I like him. Oh, of course, him and his bro are hanging out. Aw, oh, that's even sweeter. Him and Mondo are just, like, Ishimaru's just making him some good, like, I don't know, lunch. And they're just gonna eat lunch together just like bros do. You know what? Respect. Respect. I'm gonna drink some water. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, I think I probably might cut that out. <laughs> you know what I really like to do? Can you hear me? I like to f what? <clears throat> I'd like to f uh, found and subs uh, subsequently lead an official morals committee here in the school. My mission is to sing. Oh my God! What is going on with me? <laughs> My mission is to secure everyone's moral fortitude and create an environment condu uh, conducive, uh, con con conducive, conducive to study. I, I've heard of conductive, but I've never heard of conducive. <laughs> After announcing my candidacy, uh, candidacy, uh, next comes the election. I hope I can count on your vote. Yeah, you know what? I would let him be my president because right now, uh. In America, uh, uh, I'm not gonna get too political here, but I mean, things aren't going too well. Let's just say that. <laughs> well, I suppose we should take a break once in a while. Let's partake in some of my delicious tea. Hey, you know what? I'm more tea, more tea. Give me tea, bro. We went to the dining hall and Taka made us some of his delicious tea, even though it was literally right next to us. Hey, um, no, I'm not gonna give him anything. I'm weak, Makoto. So very weak. What happened? <laughs> Haven't you realized this school is missing something of utmost importance? Textbooks, glasses. Oh, um, I can't really say I really miss that stuff. But also, I, I don't really, you know, I, I don't wanna constantly think about how I'm gonna die. Like, I could die at literally any moment, um, but, uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna come right out and say, I'm freaking out. As we speak, we're being left in the dust by other students our age. I'm totally freaking out! Makoto, what should I do? If I keep involuntary sk uh, involuntarily skipping class like this, I'm gonna reach stun status in no time really not that big of a deal. Just calm down. You were always at the top of your class at the private school you used to go to, right? I mean, you're basically genius level. So even if you miss a few classes, it's not the same as just some ordinary kid ditching. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Genius? 
Okay, don't say that. Huh? Hmm. I'm no genius. I'm a normal person. Just like anyone else. I'm, a, I'm from a middle class family, you know? Actually, they're not even middle class. You hear me? That's why I have to push so hard. I have to knock down that wall. It's not geniuses that change the world. It's ordinary people who make every effort they can. Aww. Poor Ishimaru. I, I actually feel incredibly bad for him. You know what? You know what, Ishimaru? Good on you, bro. And to prove that, I have to keep on making effort after effort after effort. So don't call me a genius. Don't lump me in with those lazy clods who don't put in any effort. Sorry, that's not what I was trying to do. No, I'm sorry. I got a little carried hmm. away. But I only said that all that because you and me are the same. You and me, we're just normal people. We know what it means to have to make an effort. Hmm. That's why I want you to know exactly how I feel. I I understand. In other words, and that's why I'm so passionate about my work on the morals committee. I want to create an environment where everyone has the opportunity to give it everything they've got. You hear me? That's why I put all my blood, sweat, and tears into creating that kind of environment. I want everyone else to understand that too. In the end, you can't succeed if you don't try. You know what? I feel like saluting my man right now. He he's putting really good advice out, and you know what? Good on him for that. Ugh. Sorry, I, I'm just feeling something in the back of my throat. Oh my god. Oh no, I skipped it. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, sorry about that weird cut. I just had to get my throat clear. Effort is everything. That's the only way to fix anything in this world. And I have to prove that to all the ordinary people out there so they keep on so they will keep on trying. I have to become the ordinary man who can surpass any genius. Hmm. Those are the feelings I carried with me when I entered Hope's Peak Academy. <clears throat> but now that I'm trapped in here, I've been robbed of the opportunity to make that effort. So now, what am I supposed to do? Oh, poor Ishimaru. I there's so many good boys and girls here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, if you ignore, you know, the obviously bad people. Taka? Uh, sorry, Makoto. I didn't mean to make you listen to my pathetic complaining. No, it's not pathetic at all. I can totally understand why you'd be uh, why you'd be upset. You obviously feel you obviously feel really strongly about this. I really hope you don't give up hope and start to lose track of whatever you want of what you want to do. If you really believe that effort is what matters, then you can't give up, right? Because if you can't make that effort, then what do you have left? Aw, Makoto! Yay! Aw. I think until I think until you said that just now, I totally forgotten what I was here for foundation of effort is the will to never give up you're right I have to try no matter the situation even without classes without assignments I can't just look back at what I learned already and reinforce those basic print um, I can just look back at what I learned already and reinforce those basic principles yeah good idea I'm glad we had this talk Makoto Wow I feel so much better getting all of that off my chest. As my way to say thanks, next time I buckle down for a study session, I'll make sure to invite you. Understand? Let's work together as fellow ordinary people to show those geniuses who's boss. Hey, look at him. This is a really good note to end on. Uh, not the episode, I'm talking about it. Ishimaru. His face filled with the unwavering confidence I was used to seeing from him. I feel like maybe I'm starting to understand him a little better. Oh yeah, by the way, I had no idea about this, like, um, I had no idea about the dialogue. I just know what skills are here, so it was just a nice surprise for me. But I still think he might be a genius. Specifically, he's a genius when it comes to effort. Aww. Still, I did notice one thing. 
He seems to have a lot of hostility toward the idea of someone being a genius. Is there some reason he feels that way? Well, we got the best skill, Steel Patience. Well, not the best skill in the game, but definitely helpful. I can say that without a fact. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Hey, we got a um. Oh my god, I was gonna say confidant from Persona 5. Uh, we got a free time event actually finished. Well, when it comes to skills. We, we, we did good today. We did real good today. I wonder if he's gonna say anything different. Let's see. Ahem. School announcements. School announcements. Oh shit. Nighttime is quickly approaching. But before it arrives... I actually had no idea he was going to say something important. All students, please gather in the gym immediately. Oh my god. You know how they say you get a, like, a chill down your spine? I literally just felt that. Oh god. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable. Emergency! Emergency! Fuck off! Fuck off! I don't want to do it, please. I don't want it. <laughs> Gather it in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> you can say that again, brother! I have a terrible feeling. You're not the only one, Makoto. You're not the only one, buddy. I kind of forget that I can just click... Uh, 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 oh wait. Wait, wrong button. I'm trying to. Oh. Uh, that's that button. I'm trying to. Uh. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to figure out what uh, what button that was. Uh, dang it. Okay, let's just warp there. Um, I don't. I don't really want to walk all the way there. Here we go. I I don't like this. Hey Fumi, I don't have time to talk to you. See you later, buddy. <sighs> hmm. Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Ugh, you know when he wants something, he real you know when it's really bad, he wants us to come here. Well, indeed. What might await us this time? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um, how is that funny? Can you can you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how a housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular. Just admiring. Just admiring. That's all. I don't want to kill anyone. But I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help uh, whoever would come uh, come help us? <laughs> How'd that turn out? Seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well, uh, th that's just. Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange. That's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. The police suck! I mean, hey, I'm not gonna make any statements. Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, uh, this might not be related, but... <laughs> don't, don't say it. Hmm. Nope. Gotta say it. It's not like some occult mystery. <laughs> Sorry, that line. Uh, it's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space, when all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. Oh, hmm. uh, what kind of sound? Hmm. 
Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, it, it looks like a construction site, I guess. Well, that's actually kind of helpful. A construction site? You're serious. I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. It must have just been the sound of the ocean in that that head of yours. I mean, hey, we Hey, you know what? Any clue at this point is a lot more helpful than what you're doing right now, Tucker. So, I would say, shut up. <laughs> Wait. Say what? What you talking about, Togo? <laughs> He's here. He's arrived. Yeah, I feel the same way, Kyoko. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> that can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talk? What are you talking about? Uh, 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 beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. Yeah. Fine. Then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't want. You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? If you please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all of its shine and luster. I'm thinking, it's probably because of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, I'm <gasps> feeling black. What? <laughs> I... Oh my god, I forgot about that line until now. <laughs> Dang, I'm just feeling black. Black people. Oh shit. <laughs> I dropped my mic. <laughs> the net the next black it hasn't showed up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey, um so I decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Oh no. Are you gonna show us something dement- some demented thing and try to drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you're- I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Damn! Swearing on that Bible, my guy. You know what? I I like that. That's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So, this time, it's embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So, I did a little investigating on my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. Oh. I mean, that that's a... I hate to admit it, but that's kind of a good motive, not gonna lie. N not like the greatest ever, but certainly it does get people thinking. I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at her feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside. My entire body just suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. Damn, Makoto. I mean, okay, I, you know what? That, that's not as bad. I wouldn't say that's a dark secret or embarrassing. Well, I mean, yeah, that is embarrassing, but it's not like everyone's gonna really, like, I don't know, just, like, 
absolutely make fun of you. I mean, sure, that's it's just whatever. What? How? How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. Uh, got him. Uh, I'm feeling weird again. Oh my god. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? God damn it. Golly. But that's what you meant by motivate. <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we'd never kill over something like that. What? Uh, what'd you say? Count on him. He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder some someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of Shit, you, you right? <laughs> oh no! Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff when I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what. So I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? Uh, that just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay then, in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed, fair not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed de dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this um... one. I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing, but that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me! Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! Why don't we all just cons confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Without a doubt! If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? I mean, it's a double edged sword, honestly, because, I mean, people have secrets that they really, really, really don't want to talk about. And I'm pretty sure some people in this room do have secrets that they really don't want people to know. But. It's like, it works, because, I mean, everyone will know at that point, and then it just won't matter, but also people really don't want to talk about things like that, so it's kind of a double-edged sword, but it is a smart idea. Quiet down and listen! Okay, so my embarrassing thing is, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to hear your stupid st story. <laughs> what? <laughs> Besides, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care about anyone, what anyone says. I, I don't want to talk about mine. As for me... Oh. Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be a good idea. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on, come it's on. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. As I said, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of blood! What? I agree with him. There's no need to discuss it. <laughs> what do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Love you. <laughs> but, but I, I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I could talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. 
So, um... If you don't want to talk, it, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it, That's either. That's true. If everyone... Uh, if everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I, I gotta say no. Well, uh, that's okay then. Either way, it's, it's, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody is about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? Man, I, I don't care who you are, you've definitely got one of those secrets. <sighs> Okay, uh, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. Well, the way you keep repeating it, it kind of makes me worry even more. Uh, oh, uh, okay, uh, sorry. I know it's got to be tough, but... Aw, poor Ishimaru. I feel so bad for him. He's really trying his damnness out here. But just people don't really want to change or don't really want to tell their secrets. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Nighttime already? Huh? Okay, well, let's all call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with the anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Yikes, this this does not scream good. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have an, any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least... That's what I thought, but maybe I was just being optimistic, which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. Ugh, yeah, I don't blame you. I fell asleep, but what I didn't know was that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Oh, no... Monokuma, what? What do you possibly have to say? A gun? <laughs> hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. I, bitch, I do not want to confide anything with you. You of all people, I do not want to confide in. It's about the prevailing world attitude. Uh, prevailing world attitude right now. Okay. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed them, and yeah, that's right, I killed them. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Anyone who can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it without calculator and text. God, they are just laying the death flags down. <laughs> no, you know what? They're so high, anyone can see it right now. Someone's gonna fucking die. Even though I already kind of knew that. To make that choice, then put it into action. It's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation. Resolve. So, maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Yes, get to the point. I don't want to think anything about what you're saying, you motherfucker. I hate you. Morning. Good. Good. Morning. <laughs> that actually scared me. Holy shit. That actually scared the shit out of me. All I saw was black and I was like, oh fuck. Oh my god. That, oh. 
I actually had no idea what that was. And holy shit, that scared me. All I saw was black, and I was like, what the fuck is that? Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh. Good morning. Ah! That's how I... That's honestly how I felt. <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. Oh my god, that actually was a jump scare for me for a second. Oh my god. Oh. I'm, I'm actually sweating. Oh my god, that actually... Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, what are you doing here? I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun. Fuck you! Jump scares are not fun, you asshole! Go the fuck back! Fuck you! Hmm. As long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Uh, hear what? <laughs> are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates? What? What? Your face is all blue, like someone's on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck! Something's happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No. It can't be. There's no way someone would, but what if, no, what's if, no, what ifs are pointless, especially now when, the dining hall, I need to get to the dining hall, oh shit, who is it, who the fuck is it, except I already kind of know, ah, Makoto, uh, um, are you okay, hey, did Monokuma talk to you, but, did Monokuma talk to you too, Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and, You bitch ass motherfucker. Biakia. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. But something? Perhaps. It can be. Has it happened again? Uh, yep, it's happened again. I can tell you that for a fact. Murder! After hearing what Monokuma has had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um. So, if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be! Uh, that stuff was just a bunch of old memories. <laughs> just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? What? Why, didn't, why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good is it do me to get out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um. There's something wrong with him. You're serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. <laughs> the game is afoot. Fuck you, man. Absolutely fuck you. Okay. Uh... Why don't we head out to this? Oh, wait, dang it! Uh, I didn't want to do that. Um, okay, let's go to the stairs. Um, let's head up. Mm. Let's check here. Hmm. Should probably look around a little more. Okay. Uh, let's check the boys because we can't really check the girls. Huh? Uh, 
of the doors open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? God damn it. God damn it. For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. God damn it. Investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Biakia! I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on! <laughs> In the locker rooms, they're, suspic they're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> Seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering as if only to himself, as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girl's locker room door, and the door swung open without a sound. From that moment, time seemed to freeze. I really, really, really like T Hero. T Hero. Oh my god. Oh, this this actually makes me upset. I I feel like actually crying. I I loved her so much, man. She was trying her damnness. She really was trying her damnness to improve, and here we are, just... <sighs> She's dead, right in front of us. I'm so sorry, Jihiro, I'm so sorry. I'm so glad you were trying to improve yourself, Chihiro. <sighs> what? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at, but as soon as I did, ah! a wild, almost prim uh, pri primeval, uh, primeval scream escaped my mouth. God damn it. Why? I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from sp from a spring gushing out of the ground. Yakia, on the other hand, oh my God, I forgot Yakia was with strange. us. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all f unfold in front of a TV screen. I see. Look. Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow, and something's been written on the wall in blood. God damn it, Byakuya. Can you at least act somewhat surprised? God damn it! Bloodlust. Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. You're not saying that out of fucking sincerity, you asshole. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Hm. Interesting. It's, it's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling to con- uh, I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head... Hey! I heard screaming! Did something... Chihiro! 
guys i'm actually mad i my eyes are incredibly wet right now I, like this isn't just like a <sighs> a body has been discovered shut up for fuck's sake I knew this was gonna happen. I knew Chihiro was gonna die. And I still am mad about this. Fucking Christ, this game still makes me mad. <sighs> After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. <sighs> what the hell's that? What? <sighs> the, ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Psyche, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? <laughs> the body discovery announcement? Then Chihiro really is! Naturally. Dead. Yes. <laughs> or you start screaming your head off. Go round everyone up. Seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. I feel the exact same way, man. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. I couldn't keep her safe. <laughs> so there's another victim. Which means we are now in the same position once again. <sighs> fuck, man. What the? What the fuck is this? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. <laughs> in fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. Shut up. I'm gonna end it here. I I knew this was gonna happen, but yet I, I'm still upset. Fuck it. We're doing the investigation next episode, and then after that, doing the class trial. I'm so fucking sick of this. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm done recording for today. Fuck this shit. <sighs> Anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.